Hi, my name is Bill Brayton and welcome to another video presented by Virtual Training Solutions powered by ATRA. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about the drivetrain in the 10R140 10-speed transmissions and the Ford heavy-duty pickup trucks. Also, during the video, we'll be talking about the planetary inspection as we actually put it back together again. So well, let's get started. So this is the, they're all P1, P2, P3, and P4 from front to back. All right, and let's start with our P1 planet. You, there's a couple of things. We've got a bearing in here that rides, that rides here on the sun gear. Want to inspect the bearing surfaces to make sure they're not pitted. We want to look at the gear teeth, make sure there's not a lot of wobble. Okay. I'm going to put this here so we can, the first bearing that we have is the planet to ring gear bearing. It's the same, there's a top and a bottom. Both of these are interchangeable. And the flat side goes down. Nice and smooth as always. This is the P1 planetary gear set. Also has a, a ring, a sensor ring for the uh, planetary speed sensor. And that goes on here. Our next bearing goes flat side up, flat side up. And our retaining ring, we actually have two different retaining rings. We've got the first ring goes on and turns counterclockwise to lock the, lock the assembly together. And then the retaining ring for the retaining ring, <laughs> that's cool, goes on like so. It, it, it has a little clips on it that go into the retaining ring. And we're gonna use a soft face hammer And there it is, it doesn't hurt it. It's very flexible, so we're good to go. Now we're going to turn it over on the bench because everything, everything's gonna stack up from here on out on the, based on this P1 planet. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, set our P1 sun gear in there. You know, and we've looked at this, we've inspected the teeth, We've looked at the splines, everything, any, any pitted or cracked teeth, the sun gear has to be replaced. And there's a good chance that the whole planetary gear set will need to be replaced. So, there we go. Next we have the P2, P2 sun gear. It doesn't really, it does not have a top or bottom. It can go either way. And it splines to the P1 sun gear. You just got to hold your mouth right and it'll get on those splines. And here's our P2 sun gear. This has a bearing down in here, which we can't take apart, but we can use the P2 sun gear down in there to check the smoothness of the bearing. It feels real good. No problems there. And also, just like the rest of the planets, other planets. We want to make sure that we've got no wobble on these gears, nice and smooth. Yeah, everything looks good. Inspect for cracked or broken teeth. Any of that has happens, it's going to need to replace the planet. The other thing about this is that we have a, uh, a sensor ring here. If you look at this, this has got Magnets underneath this, you see how it chatters right there as we go along? Okay, yeah, there's, there's, bear, there's magnets in here that touches off the, the intermediate speed sensor. And the reason for the magnets is because this planet fits inside of here and the sensor will be out here and read the magnetism through the aluminum, so. That's how the speed sensor works. So, on with our P2 planet. And now we need a bearing. 
the the bearing has a rounded and a flat side. This bearing fits in the pocket like so. The rounded side goes down towards the planet. Now we're going to bring in our CDF drum. So this this is the P3 ring gear. Of course, uh, want to look at the teeth cracks, wear, broken teeth, anything like that, it's going to need to be replaced. This particular one, uh, unlike the GM counterpart in the 10L, the 10L80 or the 10L1000, this is welded in the Chevy, but this has a snap ring in here where we could take this thing apart if it's necessary, which I wouldn't really bother with it because we're just going to throw it in the machine like so. And we've got four snap rings that are, will be replaced. We've already replaced them here. I'm just going to pull one off to show it to you. It's um, a hard plastic ring that uh, you want to renew every time. And we're going to use four of them. So, and the hub right on here. That. That's how that fits. So that's the mock-up, but the thing of it is, we want to engage this into the, into the CDF drum. Now, there you go. This is the, this is the C clutch, clutch hub. So now we're going to lift the whole enchilada and Place it there. Go. That's how that. That's how that spins. Next, we have our P three P three planet five pinion planet. You know, it has a little bit of up and down right here. That's completely normal. There's zero wobble on these gears. They're in all really good shape. So that's going to go in here. So the, that's going down into the D clutch. We've got a three tanged, our three tanged washer. I'm gonna put down in here. Really doesn't need any assembly lube to stick the washer down because once this whole assembly is going, this, this sun gear is not going anywhere. Now, also, this uh, P3 sun gear, want to look at the teeth, broken or wear worn, going to need to be replaced, and I guarantee you, if this is broken, that's going to be broken. So, that is spline to the clutch hub. So. When the D clutch is applied, it's turning, it's turning the sun gear. Okay, so now we're going to assemble the E clutch, the P4 sun gear, and the P3 ring gear. Before we do that, we've got a couple of bearings here, top and bottom, that we took off during disassembly. And these, the respective races, these are clipped on here. They snap on there. So they may or may not, when you pry the bearing off, come with the bearing. And if, they, if they're left there during assembly, just leave them there. They're not going anywhere. So we've got a bearing here. Hear that? It just snapped into place. And the bearing over here that we need to put on correctly. There we go. And this too, this too will snap into place, just like so. Now we're ready to bring up our stand and assemble the whole assembly. So we've got our P4 sun gear. Now our E-clutch, our E-clutch splines into the P4 drum. So when the E-clutch is applied, the, the P4 sun gear will spinning at whatever input shaft RPM is. Okay.
Come on. There we go. So now we've got our two snap rings that are going to hold the um, P3 Sun Gear. And these are both the same. We've got a top and a bottom groove here. There we go. Now the tall side faces up. There we go, and our top snap ring. Now that's, that is the E-Clutch P3 ring gear, P4 sun gear assembly. Now we're gonna take this whole assembly and over she goes. There we go. Perfect, just like that. Set that aside. There we go. Now we've got another bearing. Goes on top. The P4 bearing to drive shell. I'm going to call it a drive shell, planetary container, cylinder. I just call it a drive shell. So it's a couple of things. It's going to get splined to the P1 planet. And we've got to engage the clutch F teeth into the splines down in here. So let's go. This goes on top. There we go. It's kind of a feel thing you, underneath here. You could feel when it's seated all the way in. Now we're going to take the snap ring, we'll slide it down in here, and I can feel that it's in the groove here. Boom. And that's, that's, that, that snap ring has been put, put, uh, put together, is now holding the whole gear train together. Okay, so this is the ring gear and the sun gear for this big boy planet right here. Now, when we're lowering this into the case, this will already be down in the case. We've got the bearing that goes between the ring gear, which faces, which sits right here, flat side up. We've got another bearing that is still clipped on we could we could take this apart let's see here there we go nice big rollers heavy duty bearing the race unless it's worn out can stay right there with it we've got a cup three ceiling rings here that will need to be replaced there we go and so when it's all together That's what it would look like. And when we put it into the case, this will be sitting in the case and we turn this over and lower it down. We lower it down onto the P4 planet and that's the gear train. So this has been a video about putting the gear train together for a 10R140. Thank you for tuning in, and this is presented by Virtual Training Solutions, powered by ATRA. My name is Bill Brayton, and it's a great day to fix transmissions. Have a great day.